Good evening to one and all present here. Reverend Mother General, sisters, fathers, and dear students. Namaste. Welcome to our Grand Cultural Extravaganza. I am Kanishka. I am Anisha. We are your hosts for the evening, and we are thrilled to be with you today. Our cultural program tonight is a certain spectacle bound to take you on a journey across the rich tapestry that is our diverse culture. Exactly, Anisha. Tonight we are going to reveal in the beauty of our traditions, song, dance, and let the rhythm of our roots recall to us who we truly are. Let's kickstart the evening with a welcome dance. Performed by BPA third year students, they will be performing Indian classical Bharatanatyam dance on Swagatam I Aap, I Ronak Angan Me. Choreographed by Miss Meera Madhavan. Let's give a, give a big round of applause.
your reverend sister Zina Jesusa SRA the superior general of the congregation of the missionary sisters of the queen of apostles reverend sister Nandita Pereira SRA and the newly elected team of the general counselors fathers sisters students and all my dear friends first of all together with the welcome dance that we have had just now i too on behalf of now sadhana team that is the whole staff and the students give you a cordial welcome to this hall where our students are going to present a short maybe one hour program to you maybe just to relax from the time that you have come here from your busy schedule it's a great privilege that we have been given here in now sadhana to present this program few days ago that is was on the fourth morning i was leaving for mumbai i met sister nandita pereira and she told me when i said i am going to miss the chapter for four days <laughs> then she told me yeah you will when you come back there will be many changes and rightly so <laughs> in my absence so many things have taken place here <laughs> which i have personally missed for four days but i couldn't help and when i come back the sisters told me father we missed you you missed so many programs i said yes i am going to take back all that four days i missed <laughs> and that missing has not left us our last left a vacuum in our lives so first of all i thank the yesra sisters once again on the day on the 23rd i did do that so thank you for choosing this venue for your general chapter and we feel great we feel honored with your presence someone asked another person a person asked and the person saying how do you feel in the presence of someone he said i don't feel anything good just because somebody is present or i am present with someone but someone's good words touch your heart and that makes that person's life more beautiful is important that somebody touches your lives and i say this today dear sisters with the general superior general and the counselors together the all the delegate the sisters that your presence has touched our heart touched our lives and we experience your presence here and so as sister nandita had told me there will be so many changes so uh, people have come new changes are made to make changes not for the sake of change it is just like somebody told me to remain a celibate is no good unless it is for a purpose just being there doesn't help us and so also today we are very glad that we have a new team and uh, on the day other day i was not there so we thought today is the only day or the best day just to short a fill state our new team together with the superior general and so first we have reverend sister m zina disosa sra the new superior general who hailed from mangalore province who has been a general counselor herself and now 
she is the one who is being elected to lead the congregation of the missionary congregation, the sisters of the Queen of the Apostle. So now I invite, rather ask Father Rojan, our associate director, to felicitate Sister Zina D'Souza, SRA, the new Superior General with a shawl and a small bouquet. Thank you, dear sister. Thank you, Father Rojan. Then we have, next, we have Sister M. Shruti, SRA, and whom we know more closely rather because being in Varanasi, who has been the provincial superior for the Varanasi province. And now we are glad she has been elected as one of the counselors in the new general team. So I request Sister Sarala to felicitate her with a shawl and a small bouquet. Next, we have Reverend Sister M. Annie D'Souza, the new general counselor, who has been, uh, she's been the, belongs to the province of Varanasi, and she was a former provincial and a general counselor. And now she has been, once again, we are glad that she is the general counselor. So I request Father. Yes, Joseph, to felicitate her with a shawl and a small bouquet. <laughs> then we have Sister Adrian SRA, the new general counselor who come from, hails from Europe province, who has been the counselor, the bursar of the province. So once again, dear sister, congratulations to you and wish you all the best. Now I request Sister Manju to felicitate you with a shawl and a bouquet. Thank you. Now we have Sister Regis, the general counsel, the new one. And so she presently has been the superior of the community of the South, in the community. And she belongs to Southern Province. She has been a former provincial and a formator, and also, I think, a theologian, also, I heard. And so, once again, Sister, I congratulate you being elected as the general counselor. And I request Sister Lucy to felicitate you with a shawl and a bouquet. Yes, thousands of people visit Nau Sadhana every year. And our students who study here, learn here, both dance and music, get a lot of opportunities to come and perform here. But they never get chance to perform here to the public except on two to three occasions. One is the annual program, which we usually hold in the month of March. And the second one is when our major superiors, the bishops, major superiors, and the priests council and other guests are here in month of November. And third one is very, very unique, like happened to be this year, this time, and today, and you, my dear sisters. <laughs> Our students got, get an opportunity, in a way, to showcase their talent, their skills, and what they learn here in Nausadhana. And I'm sure 
or most of the students, at least if not in Varanasi, including outside diocese, they're all supported by some of the fathers, sisters, of course, by their own. And so I'm sure our children will be very happy to present today a short program. And this program is certainly is the fruit of labor of many people, staff and the students, fathers and the sisters and the students as well. And particularly with this program, we have Father S. Joseph, the Department of the Communication, who has taken the lead together with the staff and the students, the dance teachers as well. So in preparing the program. So without wasting much time, already wasted time, much time, uh, I thank you all dear sisters and once again congratulations to all our new team and the fathers and sisters. Thank you once again. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you father for your words of welcome. To inaugurate this auspicious day, let's invoke blessings from Almighty. We request the vocal students to commence the event with a beautiful prayer song.
सबसे बचा के पंखो के छाया करे मुझको बुला के उज्जवल बना के that melodious prayer it said that music is the language of the soul and this performance truly stood by it this evening our talented performance will take us on a journey that embodies the dreams and aspiration of every girl child a journey filled with the desire to be free like a butterfly to soar high and embrace life's endless possibilities Please join me in welcoming our young dancers to the stage as they share their passion and dreams with all of us that is dream of a girl child music by mr pradeep choreographed by our dance teacher miss prathna
their impeccable movements and rhythms has left us all in awe. Welcome back to a stunning celebration of culture and empowerment. We are delighted to present a captivating Kashmiri dance that embodies a powerful theme, girl-child education. Music by Mr. Pradeep, choreographed by our dance teacher, Ms. Prathna. राग शिव रंजनी कंपोज बाय प्रोफेसर गोविंद कुमार वर्मा
Let's power up this evening with a thundering round of applause as we are going to experience the rich heritage of India through two captivating dance performances. First, we present Lavni, the traditional folk dance from Maharashtra, known for its mesmerizing rhythms and energetic movements, followed by the high energy Punjabi dance, showcasing the dynamic spirit of Punjab. Please welcome BPA first and second year students onto the stage. समस्त सृष्टि खुदा ने मानव के लिए रची है उसने मानव को अपने स्वरूप बनाया है मानव का जीवन प्रेम करुणा और दया की अमृत धारा हो यही उसकी परम इच्छा है परंतु स्वार्थ हिंसा काम क्रोध ऊंच नीच की भावना एवं अहंकार के जाल में फंसकर मानव तड़प रहा है मानव को इस बंधन से मुक्त करने के लिए परमपिता परमेश्वर ने अपने इकलौते पुत्र को इस धरा पर भेज दिया और इस तरह ईसा मसीह का जन्म हुआ जिसने सारे संसार को पड़ोसी प्रेम का पाठ पढ़ाया अपने गुनहगारों को माफ करना सिखाया उसने ऊंच नीच और भेदभाव की परंपरा को तोड़कर हमें संजीवन जल प्रदान किया
ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರಂ ವಿಶ್ವಪಂ ವಿಸ್ಮಯ ವಿಶ್ವವ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಮಯ ಜಗತ್ಕಾರಣ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ಮಂಗಳಕಾರ ಮಂಗಲಕರ ವಂದೇ ಪ್ರೇಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿರಂಜನ मनुष्य ही मनुष्य के काम आता है संकट की घड़ी में आंसू बहाना मानव का स्वभाव है और यही उचित है 
यही तुम्हारा सच्चा पड़ोसी है किया हो वही इसे पहले पत्थर मारे as they take us on a dazzling journey of movement and message choreographed by our teacher miss prathna composed and directed by father s joseph
Respected Sister Zina, the Superior General and the team, Reverend Dr. Sister Nandita, Father B. T. Joseph, the facilitator, Father Francis D'Souza, the director of Navsadhana, and all my dear friends. I stand here on behalf of all the esteemed members of the general chapter to express our deepest appreciation to Reverend Father Francis de Sousa for this spectacular event. We are deeply grateful for the exceptional arrangements made for today's colorful program. Your leadership and vision have transformed this event into a memorable experience. We appreciate for the meticulous planning and execution and the vibrant performance and presentations. Your dedication to Navasadhana Institute's mission and values shines through in every aspect of this program. Thank you for inspiring us with your enthusiasm and energy, fostering a sense of unity and belonging, providing a platform for talent and creativity. Dear Father Francis, we are deeply grateful for your inspiring presence among us today, very specially offering the Holy Eucharist for us. You challenged us today to be a tangible sign of hope and a companion of hope to the broken world. You inspired us to see the good in oneself and others. And whatever we do, we do it for the greater glory of God. Your thoughts shared with such clarity and conviction have left us indelible mark in our minds and hearts. Your tireless efforts have made this program a resounding success. Dear sisters, let us put our hands together in appreciation and thanks. We are deeply grateful to the entire team of Navasadhana, Father Francis D'Souza, Father S. Joseph, Father Rojan Sebastian, Sister Lucy, Sister Sarla, Sister Manju, Mr. Suraj, Mr. George Matthew, Mr. Binoy Joy, Mr. Savio, and teachers for the breathtaking classical performance that you so skillfully crafted your artistic vision, creativity, and expertise have transformed the stage into a vibrant spectacle. Your ability to bring out the best in each dancer is so admirable. You have transported us to a world of beauty and elegance and inspired us with its emotional depth and expression and left an indelible mark in our hearts and helped us and have supported us in all our deliberations. Let us give them a big thunder of applause. <laughs> Dance is the hidden language of the soul. We extend our sincerest appreciation to the talented students. We are overwhelmed with gratitude and awe for the mesmerizing performance you presented today. Your talent, dedication, and passion have